the four children. We are sleeping outside here. It's been three days since their home was demolished. These families have been reduced to sadness and tears. On the near Kwabna Boni Street inside Jolo South is where you find this house that I am standing in. For three consecutive times, residents here have been tortured by one Nana Owusu Banahini who claims the house they live in belongs to him. The last incident which happened on Monday, October 24, 2022 was when Nana Owusu Banahini brought in excavators to pull down all structures in this compound. The exercise has rendered a number of residents here homeless. 41-year-old Haji Afati, together with her four children, will have to sleep in the compound at night, battling mosquito bites. She's crying for justice. The residents battled the armed men to save their lives, but were tormented and maltreated. Fatima cannot hold back her tears as she narrates her nightmarish experience. That day they beat us, they used torches to touch us. They beat us very well and they broke the first house. The mother of four has been miserable since the unfortunate incident happened. With a heavy heart, she tells me her children have not been to school since Monday. I'm feeling very bad. The children are traumatized. They can't even sleep. When they are sleeping, they are scared. We sleep outside here. We have nowhere to go. Her daughter, Mariam Yusif, narrates how she saved her siblings on the tragic night. Came the picnic, they entered inside the house and I went back inside the room to wake my three siblings up. So I used I took I carried my little brother and I passed through the baggage to save our lives. We have not gone to school for three days now. Our things are stuck in the house. As the sun scorches harder, the affected residents gather in the shades in so much pain. Ramatu Idrisu is an agony. Nana Bana Hennessy, or Mosca, or Mudis Cabacatagana, Mraso. Nana Bana Hennessy says he will use mine to silence the law. We are pleading for assistance. According to Fatima, her husband was not at home when the incident happened, but he has been locked up at the cantonment police station. The district commander of the station, Theophilus Esolfi, says the case has been transferred to the police headquarters. Efforts to get answers there, however, proved futile. The police, who restored calm in the area after things turned sour later, arrested suspects Nano Usubanahene and James Quenu, who allegedly orchestrated the demolition. Land disputes have become a burden for many who want to acquire land or homes, particularly in the nation's capital, Accra. Mm -hmm. The Lands Commission in 2020 said 24. it will fully implement the Land Act 2020 to prescribe a minimum five-year jail term and a maximum 15-year sentence for persons who act as land guards. Those who also engage in services of land guards will also fall foul of the law. On that same tragic day, an interesting thing happened. A man who is believed to have aided in providing thugs to demolish the structure tried escaping after things turned chaotic. Unfortunate for him, he fell on this ditch. When residents realized he was struggling hard to move out of here, they ran into him and started stoning him. A video that went viral on social media saw the man lying down helplessly whilst bleeding profusely. Information reaching us indicates that the man has been sent to the hospital and he is receiving treatment. Godwin Asidiba, TV3 News, Accra.